Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing commercial window cleaning. Today we made over $1,200 in one day cleaning windows. Now there was a substantial amount of glass at this job, but you certainly can get that done in one day if you have the right tools and equipment and certainly the experience as well. So with the full job breakdown, I'm gonna be telling you guys how I got the job, the estimate process, and the tools that I used for this job. So this was an interior and exterior window cleaning with office divider glass. And I'd like to know you other window cleaners out there, do you mainly do commercial window cleaning or residential window cleaning? I'm primarily residential, uh, but I do take on a few commercial accounts. So the way that I made contact with this customer was a direct phone call. And that's why it's so important for you guys to answer your phone if you're in business. So I met with the executive assistant and the owner uh, for this estimate. I submitted the estimate through email and I included my certificate of insurance with it. So the tools that I used for this job are right here. If you want to pause the video, you can read everything. And one thing that I want to explain to you guys whenever you're doing window cleaning, it's so important for you guys to learn pole work. Um, it just makes your job more efficient. It reduces ladder work, which uh, can certainly take up a lot of time just with the setup and it's just very much more efficient. So I'm cleaning windows here in downtown. You always gotta be mindful of your surroundings and use the glass to see behind you. I'm always aware of who's walking around me and what's going on, um, especially whenever you're doing anything out in the open like this, when you're not at a residential house or property. So this again is my window cleaning process. I've shown this to you guys in every video that I, that I uh, make for you guys. And it's pretty much the same process for commercial window cleaning as it is for residential. Now with commercial, you have this lettering on the glass. And one thing that you always want to be doing is detailing the letters afterwards and always the corners and edges of the, of the window after you squeegee it. So here's the back of the building after it's completed. And you can just tell how clean the glass is, just how it's reflecting the, everything around it. I had a helper with me today. He took care of the lowers and it's so important to have a good helper because a lot of this interior glass had, um, what would you call it, obstructions in front of it. Um, it's pretty common, especially inside offices and they have to know how to work around this. So the owner loved our work. Uh, after we finished the outside, he was just very happy with it and he actually asked if we could take care of his house and of course we can uh, so i gave him my business card because at the initial visit i didn't have my business cards on me and that's just a note for you guys that business cards are still uh, relevant in today's business world so one thing that i want to point out is mindfulness it's very important um, whenever you're working inside offices only move what's necessary and always put a drop cloth below the window that you're cleaning and use less solution inside so that you're not dripping everywhere on their paperwork and other things like that. So I'm fast forwarding this. I'm working at about 4X speed on this. And one thing that I'm showing you guys right here is how to fold a towel and just set it down on the frame of the glass and drag it across. Um, just so that you're more efficient with the wipe down process. A lot of the workers that were here today, uh, they certainly did let us know that they appreciated us, appreciated our work. And we always love hearing that. It, it's always encouraging whenever people can appreciate the good work that you do. And we certainly take the extra effort and time to make sure that we're doing a quality job. So here's uh, about four executive offices. I made sure that I did the inside and outside of these just because there was a lot of stuff in front of the windows. And always show care. Whenever you're walking on or stepping on any counters, be sure you either have your booties on. I always put a towel down and uh, just shows more care for the customers. Nobody was really here watching, but there are certainly cameras everywhere. And it's not like they're gonna review it, but it's just, a healthy habit to do things as professionally as possible and just show your customers as much care as you can for their property. So since I was standing right here, I just took care of this lower window, but I'm going to show you guys why it's so important to learn pole work uh, whenever you're doing these lowers. 
and right here I had the Mormon accelerator or the liquidator. I'm not sure what it's called. It's the one with the uh, washer and squeegee both on the uh, squeegee handle. I don't use this tool too often, but it, but it really does come in handy for jobs like this where you have a lot of tall glass and you don't want to be taking out your strip washer and squeegee and switching those out every time you move from pane to pane. So this certainly is a good tool. I use it periodically um, and this job was perfect for it today. So here's kind of a close up of how I clean the windows with this, I believe it's called the Mormon Accelerator and this is I think the 3.0. Whenever I was at the window cleaning convention a couple years ago, I had a stab at it and I really liked it, so I went ahead and bought it. It's a good investment. And again, here's why pull work is so important. Whenever you're doing a reach around with these recessed windows, um, one thing that you're gonna have to learn how to do as well is how to do a side closeout. Now, I might make this look easy, but whenever I'm done with the windows, there is no pull marks, there is no drag marks. It pretty much is a perfectly clean window, but that comes with experience, guys. So whenever you're starting out, um, certainly take the time to learn how to do pull work so that you're more efficient and not having to walk on counters and things like that. So right here, I had to move a couple of cacti and just having the experience to know what to do in these situations will really help your day move along quicker. If I was to send, you know, a helper out here to do this job, I would probably have to assign them two days to get it done. But I've been cleaning windows over 15 years. And one of the biggest things that I make sure that I do every day is just step up my game. Always try to improve on your processes and just try to be perfect with your window cleaning skills. That doesn't mean, you know, I'm, I'm a perfect window cleaner. That just means... Every time that I'm working, I'm trying to be proficient and just show the top level of experience for my customers. So whenever you're cleaning windows inside, you always want to put drop cloths below the windows that you're cleaning, especially if there's carpet. Um, and you do see my bucket that's right next to me. I put a towel down below that as well. And you did see me just push on the window um, because these are large windows, and if you put too much pressure on the glass, they will break. So window cleaning is all about finesse. You shouldn't ever be abrasive with anything. It's a very smooth job, and that's one of the reasons why I like it. Um, so here I am again. I'm cleaning the window in 4x speed, and whenever I'm cleaning each pane of glass, I'm taking it, I'm, I'm cleaning it from top to bottom, just so that I'm more efficient. Some guys only clean the top half and then they move to the lowers. Whatever works for you, it's your system. There's no one way to clean windows. You just have to find what's better for you. Always detail the corners and edges. And as you guys can see here that I'm cleaning in between the uh, frames where the windows meet. And right here, uh, this was the last set of windows that I finished. And as you guys can see, I'm cleaning up as much of the excess water using my squeegee. And this just comes with experience, guys. There's not one way to clean windows. You just have to figure out how to be efficient whenever you're cleaning glass. Um, so always wipe down the frames. As you guys can see, I'm using my wipe up towel to kind of detail the corners and edges and uh, frames. And then I always go behind it with my touch up. That, that uh, lighter blue towel is called my touch up. So these windows, I was cleaning pretty fast because it was kind of like the uh, home run to my the end of my day and you know I always have fun cleaning windows but today was an extra long day I believe I was out here for about 10 hours which is a long day to clean windows afterwards uh, my wrists were kind of hurting just from all the use of you know the movement of cleaning windows so if you guys clean windows I'd like to if you have any tips please do share them with me uh, I don't know everything I'm just trying to share my experience with you guys, for those of you who are learning, let me know where you're at. Have you started? Are you still just watching videos? And do you guys live in a big city or a town? And why do you want to clean windows? Is it because of the money or because you like cleaning 
windows or you just like working in a different place every day. I like it for a, a number of reasons. I like working by myself. I like working in quiet. I like seeing new jobs every day. And please do comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I certainly do appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch this video. And always remember, stay hungry, be professional, and go to work.